Now, although it may not be perfect for every single organization, the Active Directory Recycle Bin is an interesting new feature, so let's take a look at how to get it up and running. Uh, we'll need to use PowerShell for this. I'm already running on a Windows Server 2008 R2 computer, and I'm going to need to import its Active Directory module. That's typically only going to be available on a domain controller, uh, unless you've installed the Remote Server Administration tool someplace. Uh, you could also install that RSAT toolset on a Windows 7 computer. With that module loaded, I will gain access to the Enable AD Optional Feature command. And the feature I want to add is called Recycle Bin Feature. Uh, the scope of this is a forest or configuration set. And we are going to target my domain, which I have called company.pri. And we are going to have it run against that server. Fingers crossed. And I'm going to get a, just a little bit of a warning here. Um, it is an irreversible action. You can't disable this once it's done. So I do need to make sure that this is something I want to go forward with. And keep in mind that once you enable this and you delete a security principle in your domain, most of their information is going to be copied over into the so-called recycle bin. Um, they're not usable as a security principle while they're in there, but you could still, still potentially have personally identifiable information stored there uh, beyond that deletion point. So you're going to want to make sure that that's okay with your environment. I'm just going to say yes to go ahead and let that happen. And now we have officially enabled the feature. Now to actually make this interesting, we should open up Active Directory Users and Computers. Make sure that there's a user in there I can actually delete. So let's take a look in my Users container. Um, doesn't look like there's anything I'm particularly excited about deleting, so let's just quickly make a new user. Uh, boom, new user created. Now we'll delete this user. Could do that from PowerShell, but it's a little bit more exciting to do it right there. And at this point, that person should be in um, the recycle bin. Now, you'll notice here in Active Directory, there's there's no there's no recycle bin. If uh, if I hit refresh over here on the domain, nothing changes. I'm still not seeing the recycle bin. If I come up to view and say I want to view advanced features, uh, still not seeing a recycle bin here. That's because the recycle bin doesn't actually create a recycle bin. Uh, it's not as easy as just dragging something in and out, which is one reason that some people still choose to use a third-party utility. So now let's go ahead and try retrieving that deleted user. Uh, we'll start using not get ad user, but get ad object. And I don't want to get every single thing in the domain, so I'm just going to ask it to return those where the cn is like, and I'll just provide the beginning of that user's cn. And we get nothing because we also have to add include deleted objects. So there's my object. Once I have that, I can pipe it to restore dash ad object. Cross fingers. Let's switch back here into Active Directory users and computers in the users container. And there it is, restored back to its original location. Now, unfortunately, there's, there's not a lot of bulk operations there. Uh, if that user had been in an OU and I had deleted the OU, I would need to do one operation to restore the OU. And then I could begin to do operations to restore the users from that OU. So this isn't quite as, as drag and drop and easy as the term recycle bin implies. Uh, in fact, there are also some other capabilities that you might want to have available to you uh, beyond just simple recovery like that. You might want to be able to restore an entire OU or, and think about this, you might want to be able to restore one or more individual attributes. In other words, if the entire object isn't deleted, then this recycle bin isn't going to be helpful to you. If someone has gone in and changed attributes and you just want to recover those, then you're kind of still on your own. So in this month's blog article, I'm going to talk about some of the ways that you could go beyond what this recycle bin offers and, and some of the capabilities that you might want to look in terms of external tools.